Modena Cathedral, Italian, Catrail Metropolitana di Santa Maria Assunta e San Geminano but colloquially known as simply Duomo di Modena, is a Roman Catholic cathedral in Modena, Italy, dedicated to the Assumption of the Virgin Mary and St. Geminianus. Formerly the seat of the diocese, later Archdiocese, of Modena, it has been since 1986 the archiepiscopal seat of the Archdiocese of Modena Nonantola. Consecrated in 1184, it is an important Romanesque building in Europe and a World Heritage Site. History Since the 5th century, two churches had existed on the site of the present cathedral, the discovery of the burial site of St. Geminianus, Modena. S. Patron Saint, led to the destruction of those churches and building of this cathedral by 1099. The initial design and direction was provided by an architect known as Lanfranco, little else is known about this architect. The Saint's remains are still exhibited in the cathedral's crypt. The present cathedral was consecrated by Pope Lucius III on July 12, 1184. Embellishment after Lanfranco's work, the cathedral was embellished by Anselmo da Campioni and his heirs, the so-called Campionese masters. The current façade therefore exhibits different styles. The majestic rose window was added by Anselmo in the 13th century, while the two lions supporting the entrance's columns are of Roman age, probably discovered while digging the foundations. Facade. The façade has also notable reliefs by Willigelmus, a contemporary of Lanfranco's, these include portraits of prophets and patriarchs, and most of all the biblical stories, a masterpiece of Romanesque sculpture. The scholars have pointed out the splendid achievements in the creation of Adam and Eve, the original sin and the story of Noah. The side gates are also noteworthy. On Piazza Grande, the Porta Regia. Royal Gate also by the Campionesi, and the shorter Porta dei Principi, Prince's Gate, decorated with a relief depicting episodes of the life of St. Geminianus, by a pupil of Willigelmus. Single quote dot. On the northern side is the Porta della Pescheria, Fish Market Gate, with reliefs inspired by the cycle of the years. Twelve months, on the doorposts, and tales from the Breton cycle of King Arthur, on the arch. Interiors The interior is divided into three naves. Between the central nave and the crypt is a marble parapet by Anselmo da Campione portraying the Passion of Christ, including the Last Supper. The pulpit is by Arrigo da Campione, decorated with small terracotta statues. Notable also the wood crucifix from the 14th century. The Duomo houses also the nativity scenes by two great Modenese artistes, Antonio Begarelli's 1, 1527, and, in the crypt, Guido Mazzoni's 1, 1480, also known as the Madonna della Papa. Madonna of the Pap. The Torre della Gerlandina is annexed to the church. The funeral of the late famed tenor Luciano Pavarotti, a native of Modena, was held in the cathedral. Porta della Pescheria The cathedral's north portal, known as the Porta della Pescheria, features high-relief carvings of secular scenes on the marble archivolt and lintel. The carvings on the archivolt are notable for depicting a very early Arthurian scene. The lintel carvings include a cross, birds, animals, and a man riding a hippocamp. The archivolt carving, dubbed the Modena Archivolt, in Arthurian circles, includes inscriptions identifying the figures as Arthurian characters and sets them in a scene which has various correspondences in Arthurian literature. It is possibly the earliest monumental sculpture to feature the Arthurian legend. The sculptor has been dubbed the Arthur Master. And critics note that while his inspiration outshines his skill he faithfully captures realistic details in architecture and dress. The date of the piece and the artist's source have been debated vigorously. Roger Sherman Loomis argued for a date at the beginning of the 12th century, which would place the carving decades earlier than the earliest written Arthurian romances on the continent. 
However, other evidence points to a date no earlier than 1120, and the later work of Jacques Tienen and Rita Lejeune suggests a date between 1120 and 1140. At the center of the Modena archivolt image is a castle defended by two towers, inside of which are two figures identified as Marduk and Winlagi. The left tower is defended by a pickaxe-wielding man named Bermaltus, who faces off against Artus de Britannia, King Arthur, Isdernus, most likely wider, and another unnamed knight, who all bear their lances against him. On the other side, the knight Corrado spars with Galvagin, likely Gawain, while Che K and Galvarian, perhaps Galshin, approach with their lances at their shoulders. Winlagi most likely corresponds to Arthur. S. wife, Guinevere. Loomis suggested the names derived from Breton. Winlogi is similar to the Breton name Wenlauen, and Guinevere's name is rendered as the related Gwendoloina in the Latin romance De Ortu Waluuni. The abduction of Guinevere is a very popular and ancient element of the Arthurian legend, first appearing in written form in Caradoc of Lankerfan's mid 12th century life of Gildas. This version describes Arthur's queen as being kidnapped by King Melwas of the Summer Country and taken to Glastonbury. Arthur only recovers her with the help of St. Gildas. Later versions call the kidnapper Maligant and name the queen's lover Lancelot, rather than Arthur himself, as her rescuer. Interesting in the context of the Modena Archivolt is the shadowy early tradition in which the character known as Wider, Eider, or some variant was the queen s lover and rescuer. This tradition is mostly lost but is mentioned in Thomas of Britain. s Tristan and survives, in greatly manipulated form, in other romances, the most important of which is wider. One such romance, Dermart le Galois, includes a scene in which Idier participates in a rescue of Guinevere, and rides unarmed, as Isdernus does on the Modena Archivolt. The knight Galvagin, the only one with a decorated shield, likely corresponds to Gawain, the hero of many romances. Gawain fights with a knight named Carrados of the Dolorous Tower in the Vulgate Cycle, Lancelot Grail, and Thomas Mallory. S. La Morte d. Arthur, based on the Vulgate. Further correspondences with material in the Vulgate also occur, notably, the Vulgate includes a scene in which Arthur, his nephew Galshin, and his Seneschal K attack Carrados of the Dolorous Tower. The names of Arthur's companions are similar to the Che and Galvarian who approach Gawain on the Modena Archivolt. Loomis argued that the Archivolt scene corresponds to the Vulgate version of Guinevere s abduction, and that in an early version Gawain may have been the rescuer rather than Lancelot. Others have argued that the Modena image depicts the lost romance of Wider, or else the early stock version in which Arthur himself was the rescuer. Some others have argued that the image is not of Arthurian origin at all, though this is minority opinion. Notes References Lacey, Norris J. 1991. The New Arthurian Encyclopedia. New York, Garland. ISBN 0-8240-4377-4. Loomis, Roger Sherman. 1927. Celtic Myth and Arthurian Romance. Columbia University Press. External links. The Modena Archivolt, Photographs of the Archivolt.